What CRT stands for is critical race theory. Uh, I mean, you can get all kinds of folks to unpack for you different directions and ways to look at that. But really, at the end of the day, what it boils down to is it is a, a worldview that is antithetical to the Christian worldview. It separates and segments segments people. Uh, what it does is it causes us to look at at um, at the nature of man in a different way. Right? The anthropology is totally unbiblical. It, it separates us into races of people rather than one human race. Uh, it's the idea that 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 there's that maybe Christ died for sin really doesn't hold to that idea, but it holds to the idea that there's one sin that can't be uh, uh, taken care of, that, that, there's, that there's no, no way to, to avoid, and that is the sin of racism. It's the original sin uh, that is only in a particular group of people, uh, and that white people are the ones who are, are the, the, the offenders, if you will, of the, um, of, 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 with regard to that sin. Um, so the, the challenge becomes, if we look at the world through, through the lens of critical race theory, we're constantly looking for racism. So a, a conversation like the one that we're having right now uh, isn't a matter of whether or not you've done something sinful against me. It's the idea that because of the fact that you have white skin, you're always in a context where sin is being uh, appropriated in my direction, where you're sinning against your neighbor, so to speak. And so that's the lens of critical race theory. It has a number of different presuppositions that are attached to it that are important for us to to recognize but uh, but again long story short that's kind of the idea behind critical race theory